Hello, welcome to another Game Maker How To. This one's all about mini maps. Uh, just this is going to be a very simple introduction to them. You can actually go into quite a bit of detail with mini maps, right? So we'll just try to get you going and do something like this, where you can see the ghosts. And this is a very large room, right, that extends farther away. And I'm showing you a little mini map of the room with the walls and the ghosts, right, to help the player out. So let's go see how this one is done. And I will fix this in the code so the minimap doesn't move, right? We'll anchor the minimap so it stays in the same spot after. But that's just to show you that it is working, you know, and showing you all the stuff. So uh, it is assumed that you know how to use views because obviously this room has a view. Uh, there's how-tos on the views if you want to see those. And it also assumes you know a little bit about drawing rectangles, right? So let's give this a go. So what I've done here is I've made an object called Minimap. Okay, and I put it in the room. And just to show you the room and how big it is, my room is 1200 by 600. Okay, it's important to sort of remember those two values, 1200 by 600. And my view is set up to be a 400 by 400 view size square. And when I redraw it on the screen, I'm drawing it at 400 by 400 as well. So if you just sort of keep especially these 400 by 400s in your head, right? Try to keep these numbers easy for you. So first thing I've done with my mini map is I like to work with variables so it makes our code flexible to change later on. Here's what I've done. Uh, this will be changed in a little bit, but it's where am I going to draw the mini map? And I'm saying always draw it in the room at 250, 280. Okay, and I will change that later, but just for testing. I've said the actual height of the mini map itself will be 100 tall and 100 width. And then quickly I have to calculate a scale factor because obviously I'm trying to take that entire giant room and things that could be way over like 1,200 pixels. Well, if it's at 1,200 in the room, which is basically the very, very end of the room over here, in the minimap, since my minimap's only 100 wide, that should be drawn at 100 on the minimap, right? The very right side of the minimap. So I need a scale factor. Same thing with the height. So that I know if this object here is, let's say, 80% to the right of the room, in the minimap, it should be at 80% of the size of the minimap. That's what the scale factor is going to be. So an easy way to calculate it, if you are doing a mini-map of your entire room, is just to do this. Say the width, right, 100, divided by the room width. So 100 divided by 1,200, it's some decimal number, right, like 0 0.08. That's your scale factor, what you're going to have to times all the positions by to get them to shuffle over to the right place. And same thing with the height, divided by room height, that's the nice scale. You know, if this kind of math is too hard for you, you can either just trust it or run a couple sample numbers yourself and see how it works, and you might figure it out. Okay, but you need to have the scale factors here. Next thing I do, really, is all in the draw event now. Okay, now that we have those numbers. So here we go. Everything's been typed out to save us time, right? But the first thing I do is I draw a half-faded black background. So that's sort of just the shady, uh, half-transparent black square that my mini-map uh, objects will go on top of. I draw them at XP and YP, which, if we remember, are just set fixed in the room there at 250, 280. And then you can see height and width of 100. I add on, so XP plus 100, YP plus 100. That's going to be the bottom corner of the rectangle. And false, right? This is going to be solid, so not an outline, so we put the false there. Once we've got that black background drawn, now I'm going to go through in my room. I want to grab every single ghost, and I want to basically find out where do I have to draw it on that little mini map square. So let's follow along here. First thing I do is make a little variable called ghost count. And the ghost count is the number of ghosts in the room, so instance number of the ghost objects. And then I'm going to use a for loop. If you don't know about loops, you can go watch one of the lessons on loops. But basically, I loop starting from ghost number zero, right? That's always the first ghost. And I go all the way up to, but not including, let's say there were 10 ghosts. I go K is less than 10. 
So it'll be stop at 9. I go up by 1s. And then I just, inside my loop, say, hey, find me the ghost number 0. Do this code. Come back up. K will be 1. Find me ghost number 1. Do the code. Find me ghost number 2. Do the code. And I keep going through every single ghost. So with every single ghost, I'm basically finding where I should draw it on the minimap. And I have my where, why there as well. And here's where I draw it. I basically take that ghost's ID, and that's what instance find sends you back, right? The ID of the ghost you just grabbed. And I take that ghost and grab its X position. So let's pretend the ghost was halfway in the room. Half of my big wide 1200 pixel room would be 600. 600 times that X scale factor, right? Remember, that's a little tiny number that tells me how much I was shrinking right that I calculated in the create event whatever the result there is that's basically the percentage where in the room that ghost is now I have the percentage but remember you have to add on to the top or sorry the left X position of my mini map because remember I'm drawing this mini map in the room at XP YP everything sort of shuffled over so if you were drawing totally on the left-hand side of the screen, you could just do that. But most people will draw their mini-maps over, you know, somewhere off to the right. So XP of the mini-map plus the percentage in the room where the ghost is, and that's where we should be drawing in our mini-map. And then YP, same thing, but with the Y position of the ghost. What do I actually end up drawing? I'm just going to draw a circle because it's sort of the fastest, easiest thing to draw here. And I draw it at where X, where Y, radius 2, and false, right? I'm going to make it solid. Now that loops through every single ghost and basically draws it on the minimap. So when you actually see this taking place, and I'll talk about some of those numbers again, XP was like 250. So you can see when I start at the left here, XP of the minimap took me all the way out to 250, basically right there. That's the line. And that's why when I go XP plus the ghost X times the scale, well, ghost X times the scale is that little tiny extra, right? So if the uh, scale of the room brought my 1200 down to 50%, you know, I'm going to be drawing that little dot right in the middle there. So that guy's probably at a real room value of 600, which puts him at 50 pixels once you multiply the scale plus that big XP, right? Wherever you want to shift your mini map to. So basically that draws the ghosts out and then I do an identical routine with the walls, right? Just afterwards and it does the walls out except everything's walls objects. Now you're probably looking here and going, well, the mini maps aren't supposed to do that and the mini maps are definitely not supposed to do what I'm about to do here which is the minimap leaves the room. This is where I'm just going to add one simple little line of code, which basically says, hey, minimap, make sure you're drawing yourself out at the same place every time. Now, keep in mind with views that the top left corner is view X view and Y, or sorry, and view Y view. I want my minimap, since this is 400 and 400, I want my minimap to be 300 or so pixels out and 300 pixels down so it'll always be right down here based on the top left corner of our view so I'm just going to add that shift or that translation now so here I had said XP and YP set in the create I'm actually gonna sort of take that out now and I'm gonna say X position of my mini maps top left corner should be view X view zero plus and I don't want plus 300 because it'll jam it exactly in the corner I'm just gonna do it slightly off so plus 290 and the Y position should be the Y view plus 290 that way it'll push all the further drawing right XP YP down here XP YP everything is going to be shifted 290 from the top left corner of the view and that's it. That little change basically sets it so our mini map will just follow the view.
And so now you can see there it's following the view nicely. Now I haven't set the depth right, so you're seeing walls are actually going over. That's not a problem to fix, right? I'll just fix that quickly before I end the video. But there's my mini map that just stays nicely there. Um, I haven't drawn the player, but I think you'll figure it out by looking at the code. What to do, because there's a good example of drawing the ghosts. There's a good example of drawing the walls. And uh, you can figure out how to draw the player. Uh, what was that fix I was going to do? That fix I was going to do, oh yeah, the depth. Here we'll go create. Oh, right there. In the minimap object, depth. Pull the object closer to us. I don't know, you could just go depth, negative 99. That should do it. Now it's on top of all the other objects in the room. And the minimap's now on top of the walls, right? So it looks good. So not too bad there. Hopefully that helps you get started with your mini maps. Remember all this code is a game maker course, game, oh, not game maker course, game programming course.com in the resource section. You can grab this project, sort of nab this code, right? Uh, we will warn you though, drawing the wall units is a little intensive, right? Because you're looping through all the walls. And if you have a big room with lots of walls, this will work, but you may hit, you know, performance issues depending if you have, you know, hundreds of walls. Um, one thing you might want to do is learn about using surfaces and uh, draw it once and then you never have to go through the walls again because the walls aren't moving, right? And just draw that one surface to the minimap or you might just make a quick sprite of your room and you could just do a draw sprite command so all the walls are drawn first and then you can go through and draw all the ghosts on top with the loop. If that makes any sense, good. If not, just use this basic method for now. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, if you like this video, why not click the like button or even better, subscribe to this channel, share it with a couple friends. That's what keeps us going. Thanks.